Hello, my name is Wendy Widger, and today I'll be doing a book review on Nelson Mandela. Um, this book was awarded the Coretta Scott King 2014 Illustrator Honor, and uh, the author and illustrator is Kadir Nelson. It was published by Katherine Teagan Books in 2013, and the genre that I have chosen is biography, nonfiction, and picture storybook. There are 34 pages, and I would say this is appropriate for ages 8 through 11. I really love the cover of this book because the title is not on the front. It is just this beautiful painting of Nelson Mandela. You will see that the title and other information is on the back of the book, but I really like this picture and how that is um, all encompassing there on the front cover. Um, we're going to take a look at some of the pages here. This is a picture of Nelson Mandela as a nine-year-old. Um, the story starts out by telling that his father had died and his mother sent him away to um, study and learn from another chief. Eventually he became a lawyer and he did a lot of things. Um, he was an activist to fight against the apartheid that was being imposed on the South Af African people by the Europeans that were there. Here's a, an example of a beach sign um, in different languages that is saying that it's a white only area. Here we see Nelson Mandela. He was imprisoned for over 27 years. Um, the government arrested him. Um, he had been targeted as a troublemaker and they wanted to put him away. Eventually though, he was released. Um, many of his ideas carried on even while he was in prison and eventually um, the government did away with the apartheid. So a lot of good things came about through his activism. And the final page that we're going to take a look at is him as uh, being elected president very shortly after his release from prison. And so from the beginning of the story to the end, um, it's quite a journey. He, he affected a lot of change. Um, I think this is an important story for kids to see uh, perseverance. And when you really believe in something, you should just stick with it. When something's right, it's right. And it doesn't matter if people agree with you or not. So I really think that there's a lot of value. Um, I can definitely see why this won the Coretta Scott King Illustrator Honor. Um, the paintings are absolutely beautiful. Um, something that I observed was no matter what was going on on each page and in the picture, even if it was something troubling such as the imprisonment, Nelson Mandela and the painting still has such a, a look of determination, um, purpose. Um, he might be serious, but he also is not hopeless. He, he has quite a determined look on his face in all of the paintings. I really, really liked that. Um, I thought that this could facilitate a discussion with students, the similarities and differences between Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King Jr. Um, quite a few similarities, but some differences as well. They were in different parts of the world. Um, and also Martin Luther King consistently um, had uh, peaceful protests. Uh, Nelson Mandela did for a while, but then eventually um, he was part of a a movement that um, did include some violence there um, toward the end of his his fight against the apartheid. Um, the activity that I would have students do is simply to write a summary paragraph. I think there would be a lot of good opportunity just to talk about how you construct a paragraph with the topic sentence, the body, and then the sentence at the end just to kind of tie everything back together. So I really hope you enjoyed this book and the beautiful paintings, Nelson Mandela by Kadir Nelson.